Hi everyone, I'm Sonal Chaudhary and I have with me here Greg Fleck. We are from the product management team at Hawk. Today we will be talking about dechlorination in the Ask the Experts series. Greg, thanks for being here. When we were talking about dechlorination, the topic of monitoring chlorine while we are dechlorinating came up. And there are multiple methods for that, right? Calorimetric, amperometric, ORP. Um, so I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper there. We have a product called Ultra Lorraine CL17. Can you talk to us more about that? Why was it developed? What sort of a customer pain point was it trying to solve? Yeah, it's a great question. As you said, the product development came in response to a customer pain point that we're, we were seeing. A lot of our customers need to remove chlorine, residual chlorine from their source water for a couple of different reasons. Sometimes it's to protect their RO membranes or other chlorine sensitive equipment. Sometimes it's to hit really specific uh, product water specifications, and other times it's to meet regulations around residual discharge. Mm -hmm. In each of these cases, the customers were trying to remove chlorine to levels down below 100 parts per billion, where the accuracy specifications and the performance of some of the other technologies just wasn't adequate. Mm -hmm. With ORP, it's really difficult to correlate exact chlorine concentrations, mm -hmm. so to be able to control to a, st a specific value, value just isn't practical. And for the amperometric and colorimetric sensors we had, uh, the calibration curve that's used, and especially the sp stability of that measurement down at that range just wasn't performing where we needed. So we looked at the technology was available and we saw that we could use the CL17 platform that exists and has a really high level of precision and repeatability and adjust the calibration curve to perform better at that lower level. Mm -hmm. So. With that, we started to look at what features would be most important to customers, started with the CL17 platform and the ultra low range CL17 concept was born. Mm -hmm. So how is ultra low range different from CL17 SC? Yeah, there are a, a couple of fundamental differences and then some things that we carried over, which I think it's important mm -hmm. to, to call out as well. So the biggest differences are in the accuracy at the low range. So that's the limit of quantitation, which is now 24 parts per billion. So mm -hmm. we're able to now accurately quantify chlorine concentrations at or above 24. And then the limit of detection down to eight parts per billion, which again gives customers, especially customers that are trying to completely remove chlorine from their system, a, a lot higher level of confidence. That compares to a limit of detection of 30 on the standard CL17 and a limit of quantitation of 70 on the standard system. So big performance difference there. This analyzer also has a cumulative chlorine counter. So it's tracking over time how much chlorine is running through the analyzer and being exposed to, uh, to a system and an RO membrane. Mm -hmm. Just as an example, many manufacturers rate chlorine exposure to their RO membranes as 1,000 ppm hours before salt passage doubles. Our analyzer uh, calculates that exposure in ppm hours, similar to the specification that you'd get from the RO manufacturer. So the RO manufacturer is making a specification and that would help with the warranty, right? Yeah, so when if, if you have problems with your RO membranes and you wanna send them back to the manufacturer, they'll take a look at um, in, in the autopsy of the membrane, what was the system exposed to? What was in the water that might have caused premature failure? So mm -hmm. if you're exposing um, the, the membranes to chlorine, when we know that that oxidizes the membranes and shortens their life, you may not receive the, uh, the warranty or support that you expect um, because you're damaging the membranes with your feed water beyond the expectation. So we understand how ultra low range is different from CL17. How is it similar? to the CL17? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, it's using the same method, the DPD method and the same reagents, which Hawk has been using for decades. It's very, very reliable. It enables it to have a very stable calibration curve uh, and the, the maintenance for the analyzer is also very repeatable, predictable as well with that kind of set it and forget it model until the reagents need to be replaced after 30 days. That's really, really valuable especially when we compare to some other technologies like ORP or amperometric chlorine, where at some point the accuracy is gonna to start to drift, uh, the sample matrix is gonna change the accuracy of the measurement, but you don't know when that's happening. This is the stability that you get with the color metric measurement is still there with this model. 
And what does ultra-low range CL17 measure, free or total chlorine? In this case, it measures total chlorine. For us, we really feel that that is the best measurement for these applications for, for two reasons. Number one is that we should keep in mind total chlorine is a measurement of both free chlorine and chloramines or combined chlorine. So what that tells you is if you only have free chlorine in your water, you know that your total chlorine measurement and your free chlorine measurement are the same. But chloramines can also have consequences and damage and they're becoming more and more common in source water. So to have that capability of knowing and having the confidence that I know my chlorine must be below this target level, and yet if I have any chloramines that are gonna to start to get exposed over time or something in my feed water changes, I'll be able to see that and determine if I need to make any adjustments to my process to remove those from the water as well. Uh, GAC in particular is more effective at removing free chlorine than chloramines. So can you give us an example of a customer who was struggling with dechlorination and then they installed ultra-low range CL17 and they were able to see improvements? Yeah, absolutely. We had a, a power plant customer that approached us. They'd been using ORP for years to control their dechlorination. And it was very difficult for their operators to understand what does that millivolt reading mean? What's a good ORP value? What's a bad ORP value? How do I control the process? They ended up having uh, an issue with one of their bisulfite pumps that exposed a tremendous amount of, of chlorine to not only their RO system, but their EDI system downstream that wasn't caught for about 12 hours uh, by one of their operators. And it caused tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. So they ended up coming to Hawk asking us if we had a better solution. We gave them the, the ultra low range CL17. They're re they were really treating it as an early warning or alarm system of if my pump fails, if I have a big problem, um, it, I can catch it early. What they found over time is that accurate reading and having an actual concentration readout instead of a millivolt value with ORP gave the confidence for them to uh, adjust ongoing the feed rate of the bisulfite and, and have a little bit more control in their process. Um, in the end, that controlled level of low chlorine going to their membranes, not only did it give them an early warning system, but it enabled them to reduce their, their maintenance and their cleaning from monthly to quarterly, and also have confidence that they were exposing less chlorine to the system over time, expecting a much longer uh, overall membrane life as well. Thank you for your time today, Greg. If you want to see more information about this topic, please refer to the Hawk product page and type ULRCL17SC.